first time, I have a I'm one of the facilitators assisting also, or one of the facilitators at STC uh, uh, Maritime. And the facility is all about training seamen uh, in various uh, courses, be it firefighting, survival, and also first aid elementary, and also first aid uh, marine, first aid and marine firefighting. It's also to prepare all, uh, all of the students also in a career going to sea, and also it has to be validated every five years, so all of the students will have to come back every five years to validate the certificates uh, according to the IMO standards which is the IMO. The IMO is also the um, maritime arm of also the uh, United Nations, right? So the local uh, safety authority is uh, South African Maritime Safety Authority, which is SAMTA. They are also the um, safety authorities who also um, implements the mandate given by uh, the, the Minister of Transport. So here at STC, we had a scenario. We um, uh, had a simulation of a fire on board. The fire was... Uh, uh, Fire was located in also in the laundry room next to the pool. Uh, the fire was spotted and alarm was raised fire. and one of fire. the crew members spotted fire the fire and he shouted fire, room. fire, fire and he alerted the bridge. The crew is preparing to go to the, to the fire, to the scene of the fire. They are on their way to the fire to collect the a breathing apparatus. Breathing apparatus has been done. They are going to collect a fire hose and also a fire extinguisher. The fire alarm was activated. The fire alarm is a continuing ringing of the internal alarm bells and also the claxtons. So that's a continuous ringing uh, of the alarm bells and it was activated. And also the fire party was activated. The fire party consisted of a first, second attack team and also a BA attack team. Uh, the BA means breathing apparatus. Uh, it's filled with uh, uh, CO2, uh, sorry, oxygen. Uh, so what happened was uh, the fire alarm was activated, the, the fire party was also on scene. They done two breathing apparatus and also two BA sets. And they also done uh, the fire suits and all the PPE, relevant PPE, meaning the fire hood, gloves, and also boots, and also a fire jacket, and also fire pants. So what happened was they, uh, they proceeded to the fire and the bridge was informed. The bridge was in constant communication with the, with the responsible officer on scene. The responsible officer on scene kept, uh, kept the bridge also informed every step of the emergency. What happened was uh, they had to go into the laundry room uh, with two breathing apparatus. They went inside, they went down as low as possible. The reason why they go low down as possible because all your smoke and all your oxygen will be suppressed and will be at the bottom. So they crouch as low as possible. When they went inside, they also did a search and rescue, uh, um, search and rescue operation and a search and rescue because uh, the whole place was uh, filled with smoke and uh, um, a casualty was found. Standing by, standing by, standing by. Fire party, fire party, emergency team, evacuate, emergency team. Yeah, we have a casualty, we have a casualty. Right, Chief? Emergency fire team on the way. First team party, first, first aid party on the way. Go ahead, Chief, mate, standing by. Move toward, proceed to the scene. First attack team going in. We now have the first aid party proceeding to the scene to evacuate the casualty that has been overcome by smoke. The first aid party was activated. First aid party, as they was activated, they proceeded to the scene and they retrieved one survivor. And then the chief officer, the responsible officer, came back to the captain. He radioed back to the captain on the radio that the fire was raging out of control and that there is no way that they will be able to extinguish the fire. Chief officer, bridge, go ahead. Fire out of the control. Send two guys to prepare for mustering at the life raft station. Right. So what happens is here we have also our emergency suit. Emergency suit is two-folded. It's got uh, uh, it's, uh, two-folded purposes. One is also to keep you dry and the other is also to keep you afloat. Also, so with the emergency suit, you will be able, able to float. It's completely enclosed. It's also, um, it also protects you from the exposure to cold. Right, to prevent hypothermia. Hypothermia is uh, uh, the deduction of body heat. Once your body goes below 36 or 35 degrees, your body starts going into shock. So that's prevention of hypothermia. So the hypothermia, the term hypothermia, is just the reduction of body heat or the loss of body heat. So hence the reason why we use the immersion suit. And also with the immersion suit, you also use also a life jacket, right? 
So you can see that the, the life jacket is distinctive in its color, it's orange, and it's also got its luminous patches, and it's got also a light activated by salt water, right? So these are the most important uh, uh, PPE equipment that you have to use in conjunction with your life rod that you have launched, and also life boots on top. Right, so your life boy, uh, life boys on top is just basically uh, made of plastic, which will float on board. If you have a person that falls overboard, a man overboard scenario, you can also use your life boys. Captain standing by, Saudi master, Saudi master signal. General alarm has been sounded. Crew has to go to the master station and prepare life raft. So the uh, general alarm was raised. Uh, activated general alarm is normally seven short and one long continuous ringing of the internal alarm bells. So the alarm bells was act uh, the general alarm sorry was activated and as it was activated, the crew was prepared to go to the master station. As they went to the master station, two of the guys prepared uh, were given the order to prepare the life raft for launching. Two of the guys was standbying on top and also prepared the life raft. Prepare and launch the life raft. Prepare and launch the life raft. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Guys, while you are mustering here, just assist one another, just to see if you've done your uh, emergency suit correctly. Just help one another. Are you ready? Right, just help him with his life out. Life jacket there. Just help him with his life jacket. Just help him with his life jacket. He can help you also. Yeah. Well. So by preparing the life raft, you have to take off the painter line. The painter line is the is the line that's secured to your CO2 bottles inside, and also that is also activates the CO2. So the uh, the order to launch the life raft was given before the life raft was launched. They were checking in the water for any debris or any obstacles that can also obstruct the life raft. The life raft was launched uh, on the order of the responsible officer at the master station. As the as the the two crew was preparing the life raft. Um, the other crew was standing by at the master station and also donning the uh, emergency suits and also the life jackets, preparing to abandon ship. The chief officer um, gave uh, the notice to the master on the bridge that the life raft has been launched and all personnel accounted for it already. Uh, when the life raft was fully inflated, uh, so the life raft was inflated by pulling on the painter line until there's no more slack. A hard jack has been given, the CO2 is released, it will inflate your bottom in the top chamber. And as that was uh, activated, the crew was all mustered at the master station and given the order by the master, a verbal order to abandon ship. They abandoned ship and all climbed down perfectly into the life raft. And the life raft, as soon as they went into the life raft, all personnel was accounted for and a head count was done, all accounted for. All accounted for, okay. And they also had the orange uh, um, handle play was released that is to attract attention and so to inform other vessels also of being around in the water in the water right keep it there for a couple of seconds right to cool it off And they're boarding now. Make use of the grab rail. Use your knees, use your knees. Pull yourself up, use the grab rails and also use your knees. Right. Okay. Right. Now they get boarding the, the life rod, using also the lead and also the grabbers. Right. As you go inside, also straight look so that you can assist the others as they will also be climbing in. So turn around, turn around to the other side, straight look and help the sister others. Right. Right. Number two, just straight over the side with your leg inside, outside, yours as well. Right. 
Das ist das. das. Andere Lieder ab. Und zweimal bewegen. Right. Two guys at the entrance, straddling the life raft and also assisting all other victims. Right, now we're going to climb up at the rescue net, do a roll call and climb up the ladder. All accounted for, okay. Number one, start up to climb up. Yeah. While you're climbing up, just make sure that the bottom is clear. And one at a time, yeah, one at a time, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're climbing on the grab, grabbing also and going up the risk net one by one. Right, number two, make sure it's clear at the bottom. Now the guys are climbing up the rescue net. Take your time. Keep it on. Okay, push with the leg. All right. You're almost there. Next foot, next leg, next leg. Up, 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 up. There you go. Up. Pull yourself up. More, more, more. One more. Okay, support the guys. Right, you pull up. Okay, next foot up. There you go. Right, other one. Right. 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 Yeah, lift yourself also up with your legs also. Climb, you have to climb. You have to climb. Almost there. Climb more. You should lift leg. Okay, right. Okay. Right, guys, for yourself. Right, all sorted. Just stand clear, just stand clear, eh? Just remember, if the guy falls, he's gonna fall on you. Right? Right. Almost, almost. Right. Left knee. Right leg as well. Almost there. Almost there. Right. Okay. Good. Next, Bobo. Right, last one. Last one out. Assistance, underneath his arms. Left, right. All clear. Right, Roll call. Two, three, four. Right, yeah. right, and also, they also launch also the drogue. Drogue means a uh, uh, sea anchor. As the uh, drogue is thrown in the water, it will keep the vessel in the vicinity of the accident scene. As the drogue 
was also added and then the flare was also activated and then the head count was done. Right, we can flip. Pull at the bottom, pull and push. Top, push on top. Stay clear, clear. Right, Chris is clear. Okay. Right, turn it around. The ankle very water, okay. So, in the case where you will find where you will have to um, activate and launch your life raft, you may find that the life raft uh, gets upside, turned upside down because of the wind, right? So now what happens when that happens? It means the life raft is, is uprooted. So what happens with that? Somebody gets into the water, you have that CO2 bottles, you use the CO2 bottles on the opposite side of the entrance. So you get on top of the, of the life raft, you, you take the grab rails, you use your knees, climb on top of the life raft, push your foot down on the CO2 bottle, grab the grab lines and make sure that gravity will also help you to flip it over. But you must also make sure before you do that, that your life raft has, with, has to be turned wind, upwind so that the wind can also assist you with righting the life raft. And as the life raft will come over, you just need to push it up with your hand. There's air pockets and then you just swim underneath. That is the way you ride a life raft, right? Okay, clear, you clear to jump. Stand by to assist. Right, now he's climbing onto the life raft. Onto the life raft, writing it over. Standing clear, right, moving out underneath. That's cool, writing position on a life raft that's upside down. Right. Okay, you're gonna get the life raft to that side. Where's the pedal, where's the pedal, all right. So well, we're going to move the life raft to that side and we're just going to dump with our life jackets. Alright, stand by. You can come out. You can come out and just take out the life raft. Okay, get out of the way. Ah, clear. So a typical scenario when we have, when we have to um, abandon, the, abandon the ship, you come into your life raft, if everybody's inside the life raft, remember what we spoke about, the painter line that we, that we had on earlier. So the painter line is the, is the line that was used to activate the life raft. Now in the time when, when every, if everybody's inside the life raft and everybody's accounted for, a head count has been done to get away from the life raft, Inside, at your entrance, you will find a buoyant floating knife. A buoyant knife, it's made of wood and a piece of metal. The reason why it's made of wood so that it can float on the water. And also you can see the end is blunt so that you can't damage it, but you can still cut with the knife. So with this knife, what you do is you retrieve all your painter line, as much slack as possible, and you just cut it to get away. So your life rafts. All life rafts will have a buoyant knife. It, it, will, it, it will float. And with that, as soon as you've cut your painter line, this is all, it's called a drogue or a sea anchor. This you deploy, you throw it inside the water. It will fill up with water, but it's got, fi it's got a fine mess where most of the water will escape. But the bulk of the water that's inside here will keep the vessel in the vicinity of the um, emergency that we have experienced so it's also twofold it's also um, it's also used also to get away so by casting it you can also pull it in and also by dragging it through the water you're also moving away but also use dropping it into the water to stabilize you and keep you near to the accident scene as possible and also inside we've talked about the life raft earlier on a life boy earlier on you have got a similar, this is called a rescue coat, made of rubber, made of polypropylene that can float. It's a smaller version of our life buoys that we have here. And inside your life raft, you will also find, um, as you can see there, there's your rescue pack. In your rescue pack, you will also have a first aid kit, food rations, and also you saw earlier on that we have also that flare that was uh, um, ignited. 
you will have four flares inside there so you will, uh, you will have pyrotechnics, you will have balers to bail out water, you will also have um, patch and solution to fix your, your life raft in the case where it is damaged and then you also have these oars, oars also to move away from the scene of the accident. So this is a typical plug that can also be used in case, a typical plug that can be used in case you've got a hole inside one of your chambers, you can just screw it inside and just inflate it with the pump that's also inside your life raft called a foot pump or a bellows. So on behalf of STC, we are grateful and thankful for you coming on board also to, um, to do the filming with us. And also I hope that you guys have learned a lot and have opened up uh, new doors in the maritime sector for you. And we are thankful that, uh, uh, and grateful that STC can also partner um, with universities and also colleges so that uh, um, we can explore all other avenues um, except that we have uh, land-based uh, opportunities so that we can say in the maritime sector there's all more opportunities also so by coming at STC you will be able to prepare yourself to go to sea be it passenger liners, container ships, tanker vessels, um, bunkering vessels, um, all types of vessels so hopefully uh, you've uh, learned something now uh, there are certain aspects of, of the course that you can also apply also in your daily life also. What this course also does, it also teaches you about discipline. It also teaches you of uh, diversity also because being in a life raft with uh, people coming from multicultural backgrounds, it also teaches you of also Ubuntu. It also teaches you what it is also to have teamwork and what it is also to know that you can rely on one another in adverse situations and we thank you very much and hope that uh, we will have a great way forward and this open up opportunities that was not there before.